Hey, what's up guys? We're going to look at light sensing circuits. So these are circuits that are able to respond to changes in light intensity. But to understand how to build that, we need to look at two separate topics. And the first one is LDRs. And the second one is potential dividers. And we're going to look at both of those and then use them to build light sensing circuits. So LDRs, what are they? The symbol is here. And LDRs stand for light dependent resistors. And the key thing to remember about LDRs is this graph, which you can see here. It's a graph of light intensity versus resistance. And you can clearly see the trend in this graph. That as light intensity increases, the resistance decreases. And this is because LDRs are made out of a semiconductor material, which normally has a medium number density of free electrons. But when you increase the light intensity, the number density of free electrons also increases, which means that you get more current flowing and therefore the resistance has decreased. So that's LDRs. They're able to change their resistance based upon the light intensity. You should also remember a topic known as potential dividers. And all we mean by potential dividers are just two resistors that split the potential difference from an EMF supply. And they do that according to the ratio of their two resistances. And the formula for the potential difference across one of the resistors is V out is equal to V in which is the EMF, times by R2 divided by the sum of the two resistors R1 plus R2. The key fact to remember here is, is the fact that if R2 increases, V out increases. So the larger this resistance is, the bigger the share of the potential difference that that resistor gets. If that, if that resistance goes down, it gets a smaller share. Really important to remember. So LDRs and potential dividers are really important to understand how light sensing circuits work. So let's have a look at a typical light sensing circuit and a look at where this would actually be used. So here we have an EMF supply and we've got two resistors. We've got a fixed resistor R1 and we have an LDR R2. Connected in parallel, we've got a light bulb, which you can see here across R2. So we're gonna look now at what happens when we change the light intensity. So let's say the light intensity increases. And looking at our graph, when we increase the light intensity, the resistance decreases. So the resistance of the LDR also decreases. So R2 has gone down. So if R2 goes down, we need to look at this equation. If R2 goes down, V out will also go down as well. So V out, which is across R2, will decrease. V out decreases. And that means that the bulb gets less power. And if the bulb has less power, it gets dimmer. So let's have a think about this. The light intensity has gone up and our bulb has got dimmer. So this is obviously a street lamp, an automatic street lamp. Because that's what you want street lamps to do. That when the sun comes up, you want the light bulbs to have less power and even turn off. Let's have a look what happens when it gets dark. The light intensity is obviously going to decrease. And as the light intensity decreases, this time the resistance is going to increase. So the resistance of the LDR will increase. That's R2. And if we have a look at our equation again, this time if R2 is going to increase, then V out is going to increase as well. So V out will increase, and therefore the bulb gets brighter because it's getting a greater potential difference. And that's exactly what you want the street light to do. When it gets dark, the light intensity goes down and you want your bulb to get brighter. So this is a light sensing circuit. Changes in the light intensity in the surroundings affect the resistance of the LDR and that affects V out and that affects the brightness of the light bulb. Let's have a look at another example. And the only difference in this circuit is the position of the bulb. So the bulb in this case is in parallel across R1 and R2 we've still got R fit our LDR. So let's have a look now. We've got to look carefully what happens when light intensity changes in this situation. So here, if light intensity increases, we know that the resistance of the LDR will decrease. And because the, the resistance of the LDR has decreased, that means that R1 gets a larger share of the potential difference, gets more voltage. Therefore, V out will increase and the bulb 
gets brighter. So just to recap that there, when the light intensity goes up, the resistance of the LDR goes down. Therefore, R1 gets a greater share of the potential difference. So V out, which is here, increases and the ball gets brighter. This is actually used in scenarios like automatic brightness on mobile phones. When you take your phone outside, so this is like screen brightness. If you take your mobile phone out into the bright um, sunlight outside, you need your phone to actually get brighter because you need a greater contrast because it's more difficult to see your screen in the, in the brightness and with all the glare. So when you go into high light intensity, you need the bulb to get brighter. Let's have a look at the converse. So if light intensity decreases, the resistance of the LDR is going to do the opposite and it's going to actually increase. And therefore, R1 is going to get less of the potential difference. Therefore, V out is going to decrease and the bulb gets dimmer. And if you just think about that, that's like when you take your mobile phone into the dark. Your mobile phone senses that change in light intensity and therefore your screen brightness gets dimmer. So you can see here, this is a different situation in the fact that the circuit responds in a different way to the change in light intensity to the previous situation, which was an automatic street lamp. So in summary, we've seen how we can build light sensing circuits. The two components that you need is you need an LDR and you need a potential divider. The key things to remember about LDR is that it stands for light dependent resistor. And this graph is so crucial that when you increase the light intensity, the resistance goes down and vice versa. This equation, the potential divider equation is really important that when you increase the resistance of one of the resistors in a potential divider, it gets a larger share of the potential difference. And we've got two different circuits that we built, which we had an automatic street lamp and we had an automatic brightness on the mobile phone. All you have to do is follow the logic through thinking about how does the light intensity affect the resistance of the LDR and how does that affect V out. Follow through the steps, follow through using the graph and using the equation and you can't go wrong. That's it. Thanks for listening. See you all soon.